Good morning, Bob and Irma, Mike here. Thanks for joining us this morning. I have the privilege this morning of having our Director of Public Works, Brent Anderson, with me. We're just going to visit about, you know, things have changed on how we're able to do things, but we're still keeping up with everything uh, Public Works-wise, uh, sewer and water-wise, and Brent was just going to fill us in on uh, what's going on this summer and what to expect from the Public Works Department. Brent, here you go. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as Mayor said, I'm Brent Anderson, the Public Works Director for the City of Belvedere. Um, with the pandemic uh, upon us, uh, Public Works is still um, doing public works. Uh, streets, water, sewer, um, storm sewers, uh, it's, a, it's a daily activity that we uh, uh, keep on maintaining and working towards. Um, we have several projects uh, in the pipeline for this summer. Uh, beginning with our wastewater treatment plant, we'll be doing uh, some improvements to our main equipment building and secondary digester. Um, that project will be kicking off um, uh, later this summer. Um, we have uh, some storm sewer projects that we're working on. Uh, we've got uh, two detention facilities that we're going to be, we're creating a new one um, on along Bellwood Drive. Um, and also the high school slash Dawngate Pond out by US Route 20. We'll be making some modifications there um, to capture some of the runoff that we are currently receiving off uh, IDOT right away off the US Route 20 corridor that goes through the Bellwood subdivision. Uh, Bellwood subdivision has been um, um, the victim of uh, flooding for a long time and hopefully with these uh, changes upcoming uh, we'll, we'll alleviate some of that flooding. Um, in addition to that, we have a uh, low flow channel on 6th Street that uh, runs from 6th Street to the river. Um, we are working on, on putting the low flow channel there. Uh, it's taken a long time to get to the point where we actually can do the work. The uh, Corps of Engineers have rendered a decision that they have um, uh, oversight on that drainage way, which has caused the city to have to go through um, quite a lengthy permit process uh, to, to allow us to do the work in that low flow channel. Um, and I'm happy to say that we finally have submitted the permit to the Corps of Engineers this past week. So hopefully uh, the re review time and approval time will be short and we'll be able to um, do some work there. It includes about a thousand feet of, of low flow channel that will be installed there again, hopefully this summer. Um, we also have a brownfield project downtown on the old Leith property, silver property. And it's been ongoing for quite a while. Um, we, had a, we received a grant from uh, the state of Illinois to, to do work down there. Unfortunately, that grant was frozen for, for a long period of time. Uh, we were successful in, in, in getting that grant, those grant funds released late last fall. So that project has started back up again. And that's gonna go hand in hand with our storm sewer projects, our two pond projects, and for the Bellwood project, because the Brownfield project requires us, because it's located in the floodway, we have to take off um, 18 inches of, of material, existing material there, and we have to put back a liner with 18 inches of clean material. So we're going to take the excavated material from our pond projects and use that for the cap, which is a win-win for, for the residents of Belvedere as far as cost-wise. We don't have to pay for that work twice, basically. We can just uh, pay for it one time and it'll be working out for both projects. Um, we have our annual projects um, that we do all every summer, including our overlay, street overlays. Typically we do between 500,000 and a million dollars worth of overlays. Um, because of the pandemic, we're a little, it's a little bit behind. Uh, we got slowed down for that. Uh, typically that happens uh, towards the end of June, 1st of July. You'll see that work being done typically, but this year it's been pushed back. It'll probably be the end of July into August uh, for that work to be done. Um, we still have our 50-50 sidewalk program ongoing um, and that you can uh, find on information on the city's website. Um, we're existing sidewalk, the main sidewalk that runs parallel with the streets in front of your properties. It's on a 50-50 basis with the city. Um, and you can, like I said, more information of that is available on the city's website. Uh, other than that, um, that's about uh, highlights for, uh, for the summertime activities. 
very much. Um, I would want to mention to the folks at home that I've had some comments uh, that how pleased everybody is with the repaving that's been done on North State out by the bank. Uh, that was a long time coming. I want to thank the citizens who signed the petition that we sent to the governor and our elected officials uh, last year. But finally, they got it together and got that done, and, and they've done a real nice job. So that's been a real improvement. And in addition to that, the county, um, as probably most of your residents are aware, the Poplar Grove Road Bridge project is underway. That's a county project-led project. That work will be completed uh, by this fall. And in addition to that, the Poplar Grove Road, Lawrenceville Road intersection uh, will be improved uh, this summer as well. Again, that's a county-led project. Uh, city's participating on the Lawrenceville leg of that intersection. Um, that work is going to go out to bid here probably within the next week or so. And with that work, again, planned on being done yet this summer, uh, probably the biggest change is going to be turn lanes added to that intersection, and it will be a four-way stop when that intersection is done. In addition, the state of Illinois is just starting the bridge over uh, U.S. Route 20 on Papa Grove Road. They are rehabilitating that bridge, and that, that work is just beginning, and that's scheduled to be completed by uh, the end of July. Uh, so those are some more uh, projects in and near to the city um, that will be good when they are completed. Perfect. Well, thank you much, sir. Thank you. As you can see, uh, in spite of the pandemic, uh, certain things go on every day. Uh, we need fresh, clean water to drink. We need to make sure our wastewater treatment plant is functioning appropriately. And although we've had some delays, we are now getting back to our annual paving project. And so Public Works is always there to serve the citizens of the city of Belvedere. You all be safe, be well, and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.